The goal is how to insert pages and navigate the thumbnail and outline view through iBook. To perform the main goal of inserting pages and navigate the thumbnail and outline view, you will need to have found and open iBook either on your top right search bar, the little magnifying glass, or click the iBook icon at the bottom of your screen. Once you have found the iBook program application, it will then give you the option to choose a certain style and format of how you would like your iBook app to look like. Choose one that best fits what you're looking for. Once you've selected a style, then you can finally begin inserting pages as you please. To add a page, click on the top left thumbnail. The thumbnail is in the shape of a plus sign. Underneath it says, Add Pages. Once you've clicked on it, it will give you the option of chapter, section, or pages. Don't click on pages, but rather hold the mouse's cursor over pages so that it is highlighted in blue. It will automatically pull out a sidebar and give you the option of style that you would like your new page to be. You can choose either the standard default selection, column one, column two, column three, or just a flat out blank page. Once you see a selection most appropriate for what you're looking for, then you can click on it. Once you have selected a new page, you can then see the number of pages you have so far as a thumbnail on the left side of your screen. If for any reason you have changed your mind on style, preference for your page, simply hover over the specific page you'd like to change over on the left side the thumbnails, and click on the little arrow pointing downwards. Once you click on it, it will once again give you the option to choose what kind of format of page you would like. If you happen to want to add another slide in a certain place after you're already halfway done with a project, don't worry. Depending on where you want to add the slide, click on the thumbnails on the left-hand side and click on one above where you would like to have the slide added. Then as explained before, simply click again on the Add Pages icon. Finally, to change and add certain unique touches to your page, click on the very top of your toolbar on the tab called View. So to cap off again what was talked about, open up iBook, then select a style of iBook, then begin inserting pages as desired. Once you have the right styles that you're looking for, you can then click on the View tab and customize your pages even more. Enjoy creating your very own iBook. To also get more information on creating your iBook, visit ecjourno.com. That's ecjourno.com.